Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of UFO Enemy Unknown or XCOM UFO Defense. So let's see, it's been a week since I played, so let's see. <laughs> Where are we? Yeah, right, we had this little feller inbound for Europe. Uh, we do have Firestorm ready, yeah, that's good. It's supposed to head to Europe, so we're gonna. Keep tracking it for now. We just finished another mission down there. Did it slow down? No, 2400. Okay, so no matter. We can't use the regular interceptors to intercept it. Because they have a speed of 2100, I believe. So we'll just have to wait for that one to enter European airspace, so to speak. Um. Oh, do we? It's an ethereal scout. We don't really now. Uh, let's destroy it. I was thinking about waiting until it was actually over uh, land, but uh, why? <laughs> it's a medium scout, so they're usually destroyed regardless what we do. So. Let's just get rid of it. I'd rather raid this deploy UFOs. Because what we really need is Illyrium. Oh yeah, um... And we need money. <laughs> Fortunately we did just raid... A UFO. I keep thinking about switching out my laser rifles for heavy plasmas, but I don't want to be dependent on plasma clips. That's really what's <laughs> holding me back there. Um, do we need more of these? I mean, we have a fair few of them stockpiled already. We can certainly get rid of a fair bit of alien alloys. Let's see, we did hire staff here, didn't we? Yeah, 50 scientists inbound, and I was thinking about transferring the scientists from here. Because then I can open up and build more base defenses here. Which I just might do. At least transfer one base, That's, then we can tear down one of these and one of the living quarters. We'll still have enough habitat for the rest of the base, and yeah. And so, yeah, all right, we're, it's a new month now, that's true. So all the graphs should be flattened again. Hmm, yeah, one thing, let's see, uh, weapons, uh, da, da, da. weapons and equipment, uh, these are basically the, oh, these are only our weapons, are they? Yeah, at any rate, laser rifles, which I'm currently using, 60 strength laser beam, but they're highly accurate, that's one thing. 50, 25, 34. Compared to... 
That's all the alien artifacts, I believe, yeah. Heavy plasma. Well, it is nearly twice as strong. Wait a second. I thought it had lower accuracy. Oh, never mind then. Okay, in that case... In that case, we just might have just... Oh my. We just might have to begin switching out our arms. Provided, of course, I can... I have the slots for it. I mean, if you're gonna bring clips, that's gonna take more cargo in the uh, craft. Oh, um, dang it. Quickly, let's make a save. The only way for me to intercept that one is the Avenger. The Firestorm can't get there in time. Uh, the craft over here can't possibly blow it out of the sky. And if it lands, well... Oh yeah, I should have... If it lands, we could have used the event right away. But, uh... Terror ship. Okay, it crash lands. Unfortunately, our interceptor got damaged. Uh, what? <laughs> this I didn't know. This I didn't know. Okay, so the Avenger can not only shoot it down, but it can immediately land there. I was not aware that it was actually possible. Um. Yeah, sure. Of course, this craft is kind of poorly equipped for it, but we didn't. It didn't. I didn't switch out the weapons. I thought about that just as a launch the darn thing. Um, and we are understaffed. Oh, dang it. Now I'm supposed to... Yeah. Never mind. I was supposed to add the um, mind control orbs, but I suppose we'll manage somehow. Uh, so many misclicks. I'm going to save there, just in case we have one of those horrendous implosion events. Where everything goes wrong. Okay, so this is the corner of the map. You know there's a terror UFO somewhere hiding hiding somewhere. Uh, for the most part we'll be using these two to scout. Probably want to reserve snapshots. Okay, so now we have an idea of the map size. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, still no sightings. Can we at least see the UFO? Oh yeah, that's wrong. There we go. That's the highest level. We'll do that because if we can see the UFO, we'll usually see the roof. No, no roof. Okay, and done with you. We are going to use the next hover tank. On the bright side, every single one of these, every single one of these soldiers will have the uh, uh, Psy amp. Oh, there's the UFO. Now this was an ethereal ship, so I don't think we'll be melting too many mines. But all the psychics are definitely gonna sit tight here. Almost marked with P. Uh, wait with you. 
If you're marked as psychic, you're just gonna sit tight and have that one at the ready. Because these are the ones with potentially the ability to get through to uh, our uh, darling friends. of them, I think. Not all. There we go. One more that was a psychic and didn't have the amp ready. Okay, have I cycled through all of them now? Okay, now it looks like all the non-psychics have been set aside. I don't know if I want to <laughs> exit the craft though. Not just yet. Wait a second, we had 17. I thought we... Did we actually get uh, someone wounded last mission? I guess we must have. You can't get there. Okay, you wait. You can't move either. You can't move. Okay, so you're basically trapped because of this dude. You go outside. I want them ready to go out, but... Uh Let's face it, I don't really want to expose myself, if I can help it. If they destroy the uh, hover platforms, that's fine. Well, I actually no, but... Uh, more fine than the alternative. I mean, the hover tanks are fairly easy to replace, and they never gain experience and all that fun stuff, so... Yeah. Though they do cost a bit of Illyrium. So far we have not seen any aliens, which is kind of disturbing. Are they all hiding inside the craft? That would really surprise me. Okay, hover tank. Um, it don't really matter. You know what? You're gonna hover above the craft and then turn around. Don't want him hovering here because then he'll be probably probably someone who'll emerge from the craft and shoot him in the underside, less armored side. And that would be bad. Let's use him to scout the perimeter. There we go. Okay, time to bring in the Psychor. Gonna start with you. Well, this is on the... Uh, these are ethereal, so they'll probably be incredibly tough to, to mind control. Of course, I have to see them first. Well, there he is. Hey! Awesome. Okay, Mr. Soldier, have a look around. No one else is down here. Well, you don't need this ugly thing. Throw that away. Uh, don't reserve time units. And run, 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 run. He's the only one outside, that's gonna be fun. Uh, 
And for the time being, just cycle through everybody. I haven't seen anyone else. Nothing there. And go and verify that this is empty. Now at least we have one little dude we can scout with. Possibly. Depending on whether or not it'll be mind controlled as easily again. Could have been a fluke. Now we didn't hear any kind of sound from the uh, opening and closing of doors, so... Come on, spot the guy. There he is. Hello, little puppet. We want you back in the fold. Oh no, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit difficult now. soldier. Um, go here. At least now I'll be able to see you rather easily. Okay, hover tank, go over here. So, no one's hiding down there. Oh, this entire quadrant has been secured. There might be someone hiding behind the UFO, I don't know. But it's quite possibly they're all hiding inside. Regardless, I am not gonna move my units out just yet. And the hover tank can return to its sentinel position. Slides there. Again, I want to try to use the aliens to scout with if I can. Okay, let's see if we can mind control them again. If there's no random chance in this, starting to wonder if there's no random chance in mind control at all. Oh, okay. This craft has definitely been blown to bits. Our little scout didn't find anything. I guess we'll go check the other door. And you guys just wait. I mean, there are no time limits on the mission, so why should we hurry? We haven't heard any kind of sound that indicates uh, that they're hiding in other the other buildings. Um, hover this way. And then face this guy, because we need to see him later. And actually, over a bit further. And try to turn. Okay. Seems good enough. I mean, we could simply wait until they show up. Uh, 
till they emerge from the crafts and then our hover plasmas can have have some fun. First though, let's get a little scouty mic scout here. Now if I am um, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, so you successfully mind controlled the fella on the first go. Uh, 9859. You failed twice. Ah, okay. So he has much less psionic strength. Uh, that's probably it then. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it could be presented in space, but I assume that since we, you need the psionic strength to be fairly high in order to actually do this. Um, we have a peek again. No one? Okay. Go there. Face the wall. Oh, you don't have the energy to face the wall. Oh uh, boy. Here's the thing though, he can't see me at all. So Okay, and then you go down. Can I open doors with a home attack? Answer, yes. Uh, I don't care about time units, you are going to turn around and go there. Right, on the other hover tank. Where do you go? Oh, it's all the way up in the third level, there we go. Um, I want you to hover this way. If nothing else, I suppose we could send in the hover tanks on the first level. But it's uh, certainly starting to look now that they, like the aliens, don't really have anyone. Anywhere. Outside the craft. I'll wait one more turn. If this was the only guy outside the ship... That's actually quite okay, but... Uh, a bit strange too. Terror ship should be crawling with vehicles, or vehicles with uh, <laughs> aliens. But I haven't heard any kind of doors open and closing, which kind of leads me to believe they're not in these buildings. But I suppose we'll send out a few scout teams. Yeah, we have that guy. I could execute him, but as long as he's useful, why should we? And he's also unarmed, so he wouldn't be that much of a bother. As long as he doesn't see any one of our troops, he won't really be a danger. Okay, he has auto, he's out of energy too, so... I suppose I'll send him this way. Um, that's kind of cool, so the door is halfway open. Can we see anything here? No. Oh, there we can see something. Two aliens, both on the top side. Okay. Let's bring in the heavy artillery. Are they ethereals? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that failed. 
Well, boo. Well, when you first fail, try and try again. Of course, these guys are much less strength. Quite unlikely they'll succeed. But I'm waiting to try. I do want to go with the Psychics first, simply because they're stronger at this. Now I would love to have the uh, mind control dip. Actually, we could fix that. You go there. Pick up this. Tell me, what are, what are we facing? Okay, just a soldier with a size skill of 40-50. Oh, we can actually see these numbers now. Good. And the other one we can't actually see. Um, because you're out of time units. Fine, move there. Who cares about your snapshot? Move away, I need to identify the other. Okay, so one's a soldier with a 40-50 or 50-40. The other is a soldier with the same values. Uh, okay, 50-40, so we want someone who's stronger than 50, more skilled than 40, I think. Uh, much higher strength, not, not enough s skill, maybe, I don't know. I'll experiment a bit, but that'll be next time. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.